Spring is well and truly here, and that means it is hiking season. But how do we dress for the great outdoors without skimping on style? Here to show us how is Miles Sexton. <laughs> I love that you're here to talk about your passion, but wait a minute, Miles. I know you're fabulous, but do you really wear those heels when you hike? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these are my hiking heels. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I feel like no one would recognize me if I wasn't in heels today. <laughs> but maybe let me do a quick change, okay? Okay. Oh, that's more like it. <laughs> a little bit more comfy. Right? Okay, before we even get into the looks that we're going to be talking about today, congratulations are in order because oh. you were actually proposed to on a hike a few months ago. I was. I was. What happened? So we were climbing this mountain, and then on the journey, there we got 60 centimeters of snow. So it was oh. definitely like a bit of an eye-opener when it came to hiking up a mountain. Yeah. And so we almost made it to the top, but unfortunately, there was too much snow. So we had to turn around. I was all sad and disappointed, and my partner was like, let's go over to this cliff, like, over the view, and, like, let's take a picture over here. So then we go over, and then I thought he fell. So then I try to go catch him, and then I fall, and I realize he was, like, getting down on one knee to propose for me, and we both almost fell off the side of the mountain. But it was, like, quite the proposal, but, and we have it all on video. Go check it on Instagram. Okay. <laughs> True love. Literally. Falling off the mountain, but getting engaged at the same time. So congratulations Thank to you. Thank you so much. That is beautiful. Okay, now we're going to talk a little bit about some hot tips uh, yes. that you can use when you are hiking, and I've got to start with your look. Oh, thank you. So this is beautiful head to toe, and I wish I looked that fashionable when I was out there <laughs> on a hike. So walk us through what works for you. Okay, so this look would be more, I would say, like into the fall, like winter yeah. or like that early spring when it's still cool. So mm -hmm. I really love doing a longer jacket just because it really breaks that wind. Um, it's really cool. It's from a Canadian designer called Betty. Now, you won't believe, but this jacket's actually made out of recycled fishnets. Oh, that's which amazing. Which is so amazing. It's yeah. a completely sustainable brand that's vegan. And you'll even notice on the side all of like the, the detailing. This is actually recycled uh, seat belts, which is really oh, cool. Oh, that's excellent. So definitely check them out. And I also like definitely recommend a big hat, especially yeah. if you're hiking when the sun is out. This is really going to help to protect your face a bit more. Mm -hmm. This is by Coup de Tete. They're another amazing Canadian brand. Yeah. And then I paired it with a little bit of the, uh, so it's a root sweater. I have an 18 weights little scarf here. I find little scarves are great to bring on the hike because, you know, if you get hot, you can wrap it around the head. Yeah. The food isn't sitting well, you know, you've got a little emergency <laughs> backup here. So, Good <laughs> yeah, stuff. been there. Yeah, this is reality, <laughs> yeah. right? And then as we make our way down, Levi's denim. I love Levi's denim just because it is super durable. You know, yeah. I think people have had pairs of Levi's denim for like their entire life because they last such a long time, mm -hmm. so they would stand to the activity. And then I finished with my on-running hikers. Now, I went with a higher boot just to get a little ankle support. You really want a higher boot if you're going in elevation that's going up. Mm -hmm. So it's going to help to support your ankles. Yeah. And they're completely waterproof. This is what you need, yes. right? Comfort, and I mean, absolute style. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, your next tip is all about color. Yeah. So let's bring out our model right now. There's Jen. <laughs> I love this oh one. Oh, my God. So I really like think when hiking is a great way for anyone where they want to maybe change up a bit of their style and yeah. incorporate more color or incorporate pattern. Now with Jen, we did a bit of a layered look. So this is a canoe lake trend. So this I see like really more for like, oh, I'm going for maybe more casual hike. Maybe I'm going for a walk in the park. Mm -hmm. um, I love this sort of trench, but then underneath we layered a uh, roots unisex sweater. So you can kind of open that up there. So nice. I did it a bit of a longer one with a legging just to kind of wear it as a dress so it's super yeah. comfy. Um, you can always take the, uh, the jacket off if you want to. And then as we go down, we have the amazing Arteric shoes. So something cool about this brand, they originated in BC, but all of their footwear, it's really cool. If you go on their website, all of the men's and women's styles are all together, and then they have the breakdown of sizing. So you get that same oh, color good. palette together, which I think is so cool. Yeah. And then lastly, I wanted to show this because I think this invention is amazing. It's this new Brita water bottle that actually filters your water as you drink it. Oh, that's very cool. <laughs> so Canoe Lake, you mentioned that, is a brand designed to help you paddle through whatever life throws yes. your way. So their lake jacket, uh, which is what Jen is wearing, and this is another one, and the socks are the perfect pairing for long hikes and coats nights by the fire. This set is valued at $270 and one lucky member of our audience is going to take it home. So we'll after the show, which is great. What a great prize. Jen, thank you. That was lovely. All right, moving along, we also need our pieces to hold up against the elements and Model Pietro is going to help us demonstrate. Come on out. Hey. Good 
Great to have you. So these are great elements. They're very fashionable, but why do they work so well? Why don't you walk us yes. through them? So I wanted to go with for this look for a vest, especially where we're getting into the spring. I feel like, you know, if you're getting a little bit hot, vests are a great way to sort of layer. You get these really great industrial pockets. It's by a brand called Wexley. They're based out of yes. Toronto, but they're in a completely vegan outerwear brand. So mm -hmm. I love that if you're looking for more vegan, but also complete durability when it comes to the, the quality of the product. Nice. And then I paired it underneath with 18 and 18 weights uh, shirt. Now, this is all made in Canada, so like I'm telling you, the quality of their menswear like shirts are so awesome. So especially if you're moving and you're hiking, mm -hmm. you know, it's gonna withstand, it's not gonna tear. You really don't want to lean into fast fashion when I think you're hiking or being active because you're not gonna get that longevity out of it. I definitely suggest investing in the quality of the pieces. Yeah. And then we also did an Arteric um, backpack. Now, the strap is really important when we're looking for a hiking backpack. Yeah. And so if you see this little strap in the front that Pietro's closing, there's one up here and then there's one down at the bottom. Having this strap is gonna save your back so much, especially yes. if you're carrying a lot of things in your backpack, mm -hmm. it's gonna help keep you straight. And there's also a little bit of a back brace that's it built in within the backpack too. Oh, very cool. So that is really key, because you don't wanna like be hiking and then you like pull your back out, right? And it right. can happen with backpacks. And then the same shoes that Jen was wearing, oh, yes. but just in a larger size for Pietro from Arteric. I love that you can get whatever you want for whatever your foot size is and whatever yes. colors out there for both. Pietro, thank you so much for that. <laughs> and thank you for the smile. I saw a little smile. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Lastly, you say we should play with layers and colors. So let's bring out Elise. Elise, come on out here. I love Ooh. this color. <laughs> for any outdoor wear because exactly. everyone's in black, right? This is lovely. Totally. Like, let's have some fun. I love color, especially right now. We're seeing a lot of work in, like, pastels and brighter colors. So we did this really great Canada Goose that's more of, like, a windbreaker or a raincoat. You really have that duality to it. I like that it's a little bit longer as well, so yeah. you can, it's more multi-purpose. And then we kind of, like, paired it again with the uh, Levi's denim, durability. I went in with a Doc Martin for this just to keep it Why more not? street style and fun. It is in the vegan leather. And then, obviously, we did a little Alteric backpack and that bright pop of the baby blue. Oh my gosh, looks so good, Elise <laughs> and Miles. Incredible tips. Keep hiking and we'll do more of this on the show.